today we're on a remote countryside where we're gonna make cowboy coffee, the smoothest coffee around. People used to make coffee anywhere they could, boiling it in a tin can by the river or boiling it in a cold coffee pot on a ranch. Yes, those rangers know what could be done. <laughs> but today I'm gonna show you how to make a real cup of coffee. A coffee that tastes like coffee and doesn't keep your heart with all the flavor. This is gonna be the best coffee in the world. All right, let's start the show, guys. Hi right, there, guys. Today we're gonna to make cowboy coffee with Buddy Donny. Say hi, Donny. Hi, Donny. Uh, hi, Donny. Hi, Donny. There you go. So, first things first, the coffee pot. Donny, the coffee pot. Thank you. Thank you. Don't buy the wrong one, not an ornamental one. You need to buy a real one, otherwise it leaks. When you buy the real one, probably come with one of these. Percolator. For cowboy coffee has no use. First thing you do, toss it out. Toss it out, buddy. Then we're gonna add the water till about just under the spout. There we go. And you can't spill, doesn't matter here. There we go. Warm up the coffee or the water before we add the uh, the coffee grains, and I'll explain about all about that later. And now we wait. All right, guys, uh, we're back again. Water starts uh, warming up, so it's time to add the coffee grains. And uh, of course, shop local, very important for us. Black sheep coffee. Uh, Nice new coffee company in uh, Black Diamond, I would say uh, when you're in the area, give them a buzz, they're on Facebook, so go and grab the coffee there. Um, you have to watch uh, for the coffee that you boil the, the coarser grind stuff longer than the, the fine stuff. So we have fine stuff here, so we're not going to go for too long. And you add a tablespoon of coffee grinds per cup of water. This is a nine cup pot. That is every company does, they lie. They only hold six to under the spout. Don't know why they do that. So we're gonna add six uh, tablespoons of uh, coffee grinds in our pot. There we go. And uh, after we have the six uh, spoons in here, then we're going to bring it to a rolling boil and we're going to enjoy coffee after that. Oh yeah! Four. I'm <laughs> counting with you. Five. And six. There we go. Don't need to give it a stir, it will be stirred up enough as it is. Alright guys, I'm going to put it back on the fire, make it uh, boiling and we'll be back with you again. See you shortly. Alright guys, back again. Uh, we brought our coffee uh, to a, a rolling boil and uh, I will show you that in another picture. In a bit and now it's boiling we're gonna leave it to boil for about three minutes um, the time all depends of course if you like it stronger boil it longer and coarser the coffee the longer you need to boil it but watch out if you try to do this at home on your kitchen stove which is all good don't get me wrong when you boil it too fast you will boil it over and your other half won't be happy with you speaking from experience Right, see you later again when well, we're gonna show you that the coffee really doesn't need any filtering. Talk to you later. Through the wonders of time, we are three minutes later. It's been rolling, doing a rolling boil for three minutes, so that's all good. And then we're gonna move the coffee pot from the heat 
to a colder spot and we just set it aside as uh, the coffee grinds just needs to come to a realization that they are done working they just need to go to sleep after that uh, we're going to pour some cold water in it just to force them down and that's it there we have coffee all right been sitting here now for a minute or so no rocket science, right guys? Because if it was rocket science, I wouldn't be doing it. Just take a bit of cold water. Make sure short is cold. As you can tell, there's snow around us. That's where it's been uh, hanging out. Pour a little bit down the spout. If you can see it from the smoke. Pour a little bit around the edge. And a little cork for good luck. It wakes up the grains, you know. Those grains have been sleeping and still floating around. Now everything goes down to the bottom. Place the lid on. Coffee is ready in uh, in a few minutes. Stay with us. All right, so we uh, we poured the water, the cold water, down on the coffee to settle the ground. So all that's done. So uh, the only thing left is uh, pouring a good cup of coffee. And we will do that a bit closer to you, so you can see we're not cheating you. There will not be any coffee grinds in there. The only sitting there, you don't see him, but he's looking doubtful, like from hounds you're lying. Okay, there we go. There's your coffee cup. Donny is gonna pour the coffee and uh, shows you that I'm not faking it. There he goes. Not the ground coming up yet. There you go. Excellent. There you go, guys. Perfect cup of coffee. As you can tell, no coffee grains. So here we go. Cowboy coffee. Nice. No grinds. Smooth. No bitterness. And uh, if coffee gives you heartburn, this stuff is not. Because the, the boiling of the grains, what you do in the last phase, that takes the bitterness out of it. So it's enjoyable for everybody. I would say, let us be a guide. Make it the way you want it, and uh, above all, enjoy it, because that's what it's about. Not just the coffee, also the fire. See you next time. Cheers. Shop local, everybody. That's really important. Thanks for watching another video of the Drunken Barbecue. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel hit that like button and leave your comments below. And as always, happy grilling!